Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at a web browser that made quite the stink this week when it was announced that Vivaldi would be the default browser on Manjaro Cinnamon and Firefox would be gone. We're taking a look at the Vivaldi web browser. But before we get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and at the end of the day, if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Vivaldi web browser, this is it. When you load it up and you click open, this is the first screen you see. You actually got two tabs up here that'll let you know what's new in Vivaldi, whether it be desktop or Android, and they're talking about accordion tabs, they're talking about tab stack variety and sort, roll your commands, the ultra cool commands, but I thought it would just be interesting to take a look at it and kind of learn as we go, and that way if I stutter a little bit in this video, please don't get mad at me. But if you're interested in Vivaldi and what they have to offer, go to vivaldi.com slash new. So I'm going to close out of that and come back into the welcome screen that we're met with when we open it up. It gives you three different options here. It tells you, do you want the essentials? Web browser that does not track you add and tracker blocker or translations or do you want the classic which will give you the do not track add and track blocker translations panel status bar and fast forward and rewind or do you want fully loaded now fully loaded is the one we're going to look at today because it gives you everything you get no tracking you get add and track blocker you get translations you get panels you get status bar you get fast forward and rewind you get mail included in the web browser you got calendar and feeds so i'm going to go ahead and click that one and as you notice over here it automatically opened up my mail which i have already loaded a email address into. And as you can see, this is how your mail is delivered over here. You can look at all messages, unread, received, sent, drafts. If you click on received, it'll show you all your received messages right here. And when you click on one, you can go over here and there you go. Amazon says there's been a security problem. I don't think so because I have not signed in on that thing since forever ago. And that says May 2020. But there is your email. Now, if you've got more than one email address, all you got to do is go down here and you can add another account in settings. And it's indexing my mail right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and back out of that. I just wanted to show you the layout of what you'd be looking at if you wanted to use the mail in Vivaldi. So we will close out of that. I will go ahead and click on classic so my mail doesn't show while we're looking. And first things first, let's go to settings and see everything that you can change in Vivaldi. This is very impressive here. All these settings. General, you got your default browser. You can check it on startup. Do you want to go to a specific page? Here's where you set up your homepage. Start with, do you want to open the last session or do you want to go to homepage, start page? I'm going to click on homepage, close and exit, all the things you can change right there. And then of course, preferred date and time do you want to go ahead and have it inherent from the operating system so whatever the operating system is using the browser will automatically use and you don't have to worry about coming in here and setting that up and then productivity features enable mail calendar and feeds next let's go to appearance over here you can change anything you want to here window appearance open settings and tabs use animation use a native window window control panels if you want them on the left side one click they move over here if you're coming from mac that could come in handy i'm going to move them back to the right do you want to show a status bar do you want the status info to be an overlay do you want to hide the status bar. Do you want to zoom in on your text? Do you want to run it up to 120? Do you want to run it up to 130? That click. Slide of a bar. It's done. You can move on. Overlaid status indicator. Menu position. The Vivaldi button. Horizontal. You can have it horizontal if you want. Let's minimize down so you can see what we're talking about. Then you've got your menu up here. Let's go back to settings. Let's go back to a Vivaldi button. There you go. The menu's gone. We just go back over to the Vivaldi button. It's right there and you're good to go. Back to settings. And then down here, you've got your Vivaldi content, commands, file separators, everything you can set up here. Then you can go over to themes, open up themes. You've got the Vivaldi theme. If you change it to it, it's bright with the red. You can go to the dark. You can go to the human, which gives you kind of an Ubuntu type feel. You can go to the hot pink, purple rain. There are so many different ways to make it look. There's blueprint. And then of course there's private. You can go to Manjaro Cinnamon if you want. I think I'm going to go ahead and go back to the private. I kind of like the blue and purple, but you can edit it. You can come down here and create your own theme if you want to, set up your background, stretch to fit, put in your own background picture if you want. If you wanted to have more opacity, you can go down, you can go up. Do you want a transparent title bar? You can click on transparent title bar. If you look up here, it goes transparent and you can see your wallpaper through it. It gives you a lot of different things that you can change here. Private window themes, you can change all of this. And look at how much customization you have. That was one thing that people really truly love about Firefox is that it's customizable, but with it getting long in the tooth and harder to find extensions that you want or ways to make it look different, just like Thunderbird Mail, it's nice to have a browser pop up and say, hey, we've been here for a while. We've got all these new options that we can offer you. Hey, come give us a try. Start page. This is where you set up everything for your start page, your tabs. How do you want your tabs to look? Do you want your tabs on top? Do you want your tabs on bottom? Let's go over here and move this. And I'm going to show you real quick when I snap 
them side by side. Right now, our tab position's up top. You can switch them now to the left, which will put them over here as a tab's going down to the left and freeing up this space up top. Or you can have them on the right which they'll come to the right of your screen. You can have them on your right, or you can have them on the bottom. So you've got everything. Let me maximize it so you can see. Now you see your screen is right here. There's your tab on the bottom. And then you'd open another tab right there. So really it just comes down to what your preferences are and how you would like to customize it so it fits your needs. And then of course your start page, new tab position, clone tab position, close tab all, close tab activation, panel. You can change panel position to the left side, right side, which is this panel right here. If you want it on the right instead, you can do that. Show panel toggle, web panels, note panels, address bar. Do you want the address bar to show? Do you want it on the top? Do you want it on the bottom? Now it's down here on the bottom. So you can change all of this around. This is a fully customized web browser feeds and RSS feeds you can put them all in there keyboard mouse search who do you want to be your default search engine do you, boom there you go duck duck go private window search you can go into a private window and use duck duck go show it in the address bar show it as a button disable you can customize this browser the exact way you want it privacy things to block phishing and malware protection DNS to help resolve navigation form autofill these are Google extensions if you want to uncheck these or check them, you can. Search in an address field. Do not track. Ask websites not to track me. If you want to click that on, you can. Block ads and abusive sites. Broadcast IP for best web RTC performance. If you don't want to broadcast your IP, shut it off. Show your typed history. Do you want to do it in a search field? Do you want to do it in the address bar? Save browsing history. Do you want it to save your browsing history for the session only? For one year? Forever? You can adjust this to however you want. Private windows will show you an introduction. Blocking level? No blocking. Block trackers? Boom. They're blocked. You can go in here and set exceptions. Let's say you have a website you like going to. There's nothing bad about it, but your browser recognizes it as an ad tracker. You can go in here, put the website in here, give it free reign. All the other sites will be blocked and that one will be let through. This is where your downloads will go. You can save web pages. You can also set up smooth scrolling, use hardware acceleration when available, picture in picture, allow text selections and links, focus forms, focus all controls. You can come in here and set it up exactly the way you want your web browser. I'm going to close out of that and go back over here. Vivaldi web browser. Just the little time that I've spent in it is very impressive. It is a very sharp, clean browser. It's very functional. That's the most important thing. Go download it. Play around with it. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Before you go today, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my video. It doesn't cost anything. And at the end of the day, if you don't like me, you can always unsubscribe. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next video.